are looking at what we in the photojournalism field call the money shot. An image or recording that's visually pleasing, inspiring, or requires a lot of waiting. And believe me, we waited a long time for this shot. Just ask these people. For an hour now? Yeah. Or so? Maybe like two and a half hours. We're waiting about two hours. Ha. Huh. This is the Old Faithful Geyser in Calistoga, one of just three Old Faithful Geysers in the world, according to property manager Karai Sunley. This one, the one in Yellowstone, of course, and the third one is in New Zealand. To form a geyser, you need volcanic activity below the groundwater, and here in Calistoga, it's sitting right next to what's left of Mount St. Helena, a volcano that blew more than three million years ago. So we got magma down here in uh -huh, the water. Exactly. And then once it gets hot, it goes. And and then it starts boiling. So the more groundwater that hits the volcanic magma, the more frequent the Calistoga geyser blows. Now, it usually happens every 15 to 30 minutes, but I visited during a drought year, making the geyser a little less faithful. What's happened so far? Nothing. Nothing. Good news for visitors, there's plenty of activities to do while they wait for the geyser. So this is our uh, little animal uh, farm, our friends. Amenities at the Old Faithful Geyser include a small petting zoo, a picnic area, and a bocce ball court. Oh, and this thing, a 1930s steam well. What's a steam well, you ask? They would just uh, use the steam to boil eggs and also uh, cook pigs here. They cook pigs? Exactly. The steam well was sealed up by Olga Kolbeck shortly after she bought the place in the 1970s. Locals called her the geyser lady, partly because she claimed the old faithful geyser could predict earthquakes. And as the geyser stops erupting for more than two or three hours, period, that is the indication of an upcoming earthquake. Is it predicted one? It has predicted several of them. Olga kept careful records of the geyser's activity before and after earthquakes, and her research was eventually published. Then a seismograph was installed on the property. Luckily for us, an earthquake didn't hit after our delayed geyser blew, but we did get to experience what the sulfur-filled geyser water smells like. Rotten eggs. Rotten, rotten goose eggs. From the old faithful geyser in Calistoga, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road. Get a little shower here. <laughs>